previously on my Apocalypse series. Because I wanted to build a motorboat, I went out and got 1200 metal, which was uh, no easy task with just a simple metal pick to my name. Now that I had 1200 metal just for a fucking motorboat, I went out and started getting some cementing paste, but I got jumped by a wyvern along the way. Somehow the guy failed to kill me, he must be blind, and I managed to slip away into the swamp, which is every arc player's favorite place to be. After that, I'm forced to go to a different cementing paste hotspot, and there I accidentally glitched myself into a guy's raft. I think he was foreign or something because I tried negotiating with him to let me out. I didn't take anything, I just wanted to leave and get out of his raft, but he kept trying to kill me, so unfortunately I was forced to kill him. After I killed him, I tried to pull a last resort to get myself out of the raft by knocking myself out and hopefully slipping through a hole in his base, and this failed spectacularly and ended with him caging me. And the episode ended with me in one of the worst positions I've ever been in in my time of playing Ark. Currently, what I'm trying to do is knock myself out. There's a glitch that's been in the game forever that allows you to sometimes wake up outside of the cage when you're locked up in one, which is what I'm trying to pull on this guy here so I can get my revenge. Problem is, my health is incredibly low, so I gotta keep him here with me until I can get my health up, and then I can wake up outside the cage, and then I can take him. I have no other choice. Because you can wake up outside of cages. I've had it happen before. I have an oppor- There's an opportunity here. Just uh, chat. You just wait till I'm out of here, buddy. You just wait. I've had people wake up outside of cages so many times on me. I know it's gotta happen to me at some point. Why have I not woken up outside of this cage yet? He just gives me narco berries. I'm gonna be here for a little while. I'll wake up outside the cage, I believe I can. I've had it happen to me so many times when I've tried putting people in cages. Nope, still in the cage. I'm starting to think that maybe Oh, they just happened to patch it the one time in my entire fucking time playing ARK that I actually need this to work. It doesn't. Cage. Yes, I'm out. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. Come on. Lay down. He'll come. come here. Fuck you. My turn. My fucking turn. I get a feeling that you guys know exactly what that means. My shit's in his wrath. Alright, narco berries, and I can start working on a cage. And I wanna enclose it so he's actually fucked. You sore trib. Yeah, I can understand why this guy plays like a retard. He's not. He can't speak English. Oh, now he says sorry! Now he realizes I'm not a dipshit. And now he says sorry after laughing and saying easy. Now it's time to be sorry. <laughs> time to be sorry. He got me. Time for time to apologize and backtrack. He got me. Okay, we've made this little fucking shack. So he's just gonna sit nice and tight in there. Now you get to just sit in there. Enjoy, pal. Whatever. I'm gonna lay low. He's not gonna hear me. I knew I heard you, you motherfucker. That's what I thought. Get the fuck out of here. Now it's my turn to laugh at him. Ah. <sighs> There's nothing quite like it. Someone being toxic to you. Just fucking being a complete piece of shit. And then, 
when the situation completely flips, they're begging for mercy. I, I don't know what else to say. This dude was literally laughing at me in chat and spamming fucking easy in there. Uh, and then as soon as he's in a cage, he says sorry and he would like to tribe up. Fuck you. I'm going to make sure this guy stays in here for as long as fucking possible. Even when I go out to farm, I'm going to, every 30 minutes, I'm going to come back, feed him, and make sure he's watered. You know, he's a nice guy. I want to make sure he's doing okay at the end of the day. Unfortunately, all my shit is in his raft, which is tragic. And I can't really get to it. The big thing is that there's a lot of cementing paste in there. I wish I could have. Like, it's so dumb that you can't fit through this fucking hole. So, whatever. I'll just have to take the L in that department. So, I mean, we both lose today. If he just opened the door, both of us would have been better off. So, it's time for me to actually get back to farming that motorboat I was hoping to craft before I got cut up in all of this shit. I'll make sure to check up on this guy for once in a while, though. Don't want him going hungry, now, do we? I'm gonna get back to doing what I was fucking doing. On my way back from my boat, though, I came across something peculiar. Oh shit, someone setting up a base over here. It's probably that fucking wyvern guy. What is it? Just a bunch of fucking wyverns standing with no protection. Okay. A bit of a peculiar sight to see such tames just left out in the open with a base that doesn't have any turrets yet. But that is what it is, I guess. I don't really want to mess with those guys. Although, I do have my suspicions that the guy who attacked me on that blue wyvern, he was probably from their base. But whatever, you know, shit happens and I'm not even sure it's them. But at least I know Tribe of G7 lives nearby now. Oh, fuck. Yep, this guy's just trying to kill me. I'm sitting here trying to get some fucking hide. Okay, so maybe they're hostile. They haven't really done anything in particular to me, though, so I'll just keep my eye out for him. But besides that, I'll just leave him alone. Oh, cool. I love itchies. Oh, uh, hey, hey, buddy. Time for me to fucking leave, because he's trying to kill me. Yep. I know where these guys' wyverns are coming from. They're not very nice people. First things first, I want to go check up on my pal. Okay, maybe he's just killing the Diplodocus, and the Diplodocus just happens to be right there. So just kill the Diplo and make sure you don't kill my buddy in there. Yep, one of these guys was fighting a Diplo. Hopefully he just killed the Diplo and move along. <sighs> Please, dear God, just leave the guy in there alone. I need him in that cage. <sighs> no peas free. <sighs> He just said thank you in chat, so he probably just got freed. <sighs> these fucking wyverns. I'm sorry, but these guys have been a thorn in my fucking side, so... You know, I've just decided that... I'm going to just dedicate my life to fucking making sure these guys aren't allowed to have fun anymore. That's my goal. These guys have pretty much just ruined my experience of playing Ark in the South 1 area. They're just going around freeing the people like Cage and just jumping me every opportunity they get. They're an issue, right? They just make the game not fun, so I think it's time for me to return the favor. They're a big clan, there's like four of them, and they got wyverns, but they're not very smart. They just have all of their wyverns exposed in an area with no turrets. That seems like a little bit of a silly move. Also, I now have 1200 metal. That was gonna be used for motorboat, but now I can put it into guns. Because fuck these guys, that's all I care about, is waging a guerrilla warfare campaign against them. Just to fuck them over because of what they did to me. Before I can get anything serious done, let's go ahead and start with some tomfoolery, if you will. I'm just gonna go and take the fertilizer from all their plants and eat it. Because fuck you guys, that's why. Thanks for the fertilizer, fellas. <laughs> Let's just have a nice little snack. Mmm, tasty. Love me some good fertilizer. 
Yeah, I can see some kind of fire. I need to just... I'm just going to do a suicide rush and see what exactly they have going on over there. Just kind of, you know, run amongst them. Among us. Style. Do they have any turrets? They have no turrets. They have no turrets. What do you got in here? Oh, let me get to work on these. Let's see. Got a campfire. Alright, I'm just gonna take your RG away. See ya. Okay, so they have no turrets or anything. Like, if I wanna fuck with them, I can pretty easily. Now, while just running around their base might have seemed like sort of a waste of time and a potential death that really I gained nothing from, it was a good way to poke and prod at their defenses so that now I know that I can just run up and, like, fuck with them. And uh, they're not going to react because they have no turrets and they just don't really seem to care that I'm running among them. Strange, but useful to know. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to probably just kill that Parasaur. Alright, time to go get stamina. Oh, he's looking for me. You better come and find me. Yeah, you better come and find me, boys. These guys live in the exact perfect area to be griefed. If you don't know, they live in Hunter Cave on the island. So they are surrounded by cliffs on both sides of their base. And that, in and of itself, is incredibly thick jungle that I can easily escape into. So I can just sit up there, snipe, and then not get seen because I'm in thick jungle. Or if they do see me, it doesn't take much effort at all to disappear among the fucking forest of trees. Yeah, I, they don't even know that I'm the one that's been fucking with them and they're still doing this to me. Like, I don't feel at all bad for what I'm gonna do here. Okay, I'm fully kitted up. Time to go pay my little buddies over there a visit with my huge muscles. <laughs> Here we go. Perfect fucking angle over their base. What can we... F so there's that Parasaur. There's their Wyverns. Not great levels, so... If I were disabled the Parasaur, I could probably run up and just fucking shove a shotgun barrel down one of their faces. But with the Parasaur around, that's not going to work out, so... I don't currently see anyone, so what I need to just do... Go to line it up perfectly on his head. Yeah, and that should hit. And now I just need to hold R2 until that fucker's dead. R2 is coming for me, but... Okay, we'll be a little while until he's here. Hopefully he's not tanking the shots. Okay, I'm not sure how the parasite is still alive. Is it bloody? Looks like they're on the Desi. Okay, mission accomplished. You need to get the fuck out of here now. Yeah, that parasaur is gonna make every fucking attack after this so much easier. Matter of fact, I can just sit here and watch them scurry. I don't have to worry about fucking. What the fuck are you guys gonna do? Yeah, they're looking for me. It's ironic how I'm right under it. Literally right under his fucking nose and he doesn't see me. Look for him, look for him. Someone just killed our- I'm getting a fucking blow my cover. <laughs> I suppose they're probably not happy about what just happened. So now I need to leave them for 10 minutes because they'll be very paranoid. They'll have their eyes wide open for the next 10 minutes. So I'm not going to be able to do shit. And then I just need to attack them every 30 minutes and they'll constantly be sitting here worried about what's going to die next and keeping an eye out for anyone attacking. And that way they can't get anything done. Which is the, you know, the best way for me to uh, hit these guys. If they're unable to like work and get defenses and like more shit going at their base, 
that's going to be a problem because everyone else is going to be getting buffer. And they're just going to be, you know, stagnant, worried about constant fucking attacks. And if you want to figure out how this whole guerrilla warfare campaign goes for me, you're going to have to subscribe. And if you like the video, feel free to like it. If you'd like to get early access to videos and financially support me, the Patreon link is in the description below. Thanks to Level 5 Tech Dodo and Dylan DeVillain for being very epic. See you guys later.